we'll get started. Um, Ethan, four, five, six. Let's see. All right. I'm always down. I'm always, I'm always down for, for hopping on. Real Joaquin. Okay, I see people are dropping in now. Hi. Hey, what's up? Nothing much. I'm just chilling, and I saw that Charlie Shuffler and, like, a bunch of people were getting on earlier. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like the, the new album. I haven't gave it a listen yet, but what was the – I already forgot the name, but I listened to that album, the first one he put out. He had Rico Nasty on that. I really liked that album that he put out, Sketchy. Um, yep. I forgot the name of that one, but that was a good album, but, yeah. Yeah, I um, think it was a self-titled Hella yeah. Sketchy. That one was really good, but I liked it. But I was just saying, it, earlier I was on here and I was saying I watched the um, the Juice World documentary, man. And it's just, like, sad because I'm, like, I like a lot of these younger artists. like, And I like the underground scene especially. Like, um, I think he did, like, a, it was, like, an EP or something with Marcelo. But I actually met another guy that Marcelo worked with. His name was Xavier Wolf. I don't know if you're familiar with him, but yep. uh, mm -hmm. I met him at the water place because my friend owns this water place. And I'm down here in Oceanside, like, San Diego, like, area. Oh, sweet. And, yeah. yeah and um so i met him at this uh at this water place and then i knew marcelo because of xavier and then i just checked out like sketchy's music one day and i was like oh like he's got like stuff with marcelo too so i was like that's cool and then i just i started listening to him but actually the way i like found out like from all his music is because i watched no jumper and then i heard adam 22 like talking about him so yeah 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 he, him and suave were on no jumper yeah um Suave just sent me a pic that I had posted in my story from the, from that one of those sessions, and uh, and yeah, uh, Jacob did a lot of stuff with Marcelo and Justin Shiro and Ginseng. I I know he like did a a production for I think Tay K and uh, Cold Heart too. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. yeah he did cool. did a couple songs for Cold Heart. Um, yeah. The Tay K Saran Pack song was the first one where. Um, I had to sign an agreement for him for his yeah. producer rights, which uh -huh. was, and he was only sixteen years old. Yeah, he was yeah. he was Filipino too, huh? I'm only like three or like four percent Filipino, but I'm Filipino too. Yeah, yeah. sweet. Yep. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, but, he's um, ha half a half a. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. But it was just I just saw everyone joining, and I just I feel bad for you know his girlfriend. What's her name? Sosie, I think, because I follow her too. But I, I just yep. feel bad because I watched the uh, the memorial that was live stream on YouTube. That was pretty sad, man. Yeah, it was a it was an emotional it was emotional time, and uh, we're definitely sad for the loss. Yeah. Um, but grateful for the community. Um, mm -hmm. I think the the community that was created with all these different producers and musicians and um it it just makes it easy to be able to carry on and yeah. and i think well maybe easy isn't the right word but yeah. um <clears throat> i think with the encouragement and everything it just makes it 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 makes getting up in the morning worth it you know yeah. even after after the tragedy so um and that's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm doing yeah. the lives. That's why I'm continuing to release some music. It's why I'm, I think um, I think that's <laughs> awesome too. Because like I look at like Little Peep. Because I know Charlie produced some stuff for Little Peep, and like I just look at Juice World too, and even X. Like I like how I, I hate when people say, "Oh, the artist is dead." You're just milking them for their money, and really, it's like it's not necessarily that. It's like the fans want music, and if people who are their parents or who own rights that they can do whatever they want. Like, I think it's cool. Like, I don't think like they're milking anyone to release more stuff. Like I never look at it that way. I looked at it as if like, okay, like they had more songs in the vault. They want to be released. Like it's cool because we don't have to listen to the leak and like the unofficial audio, if that makes any sense. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And, and um, a lot of people don't know we, we're not getting, much money from any of this yeah like the the label's still getting the the royalties for for these new releases <laughs> we don't get any of it so yeah. um and the and the merch quite honestly is a loss like we don't we don't make money on the merch um we've we've taken a net loss each year yeah. that we've done it i saw um, was, was that 
the, your wife at the thrift store when they found the sketchy shirt i saw that one post or whatever yeah 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 that was cool yeah that was yeah. crazy i was like what <laughs> and it was probably yeah. from the people that 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 did the merch for us that time yeah. you know there were samples that that we didn't end up with that uh -huh. yeah it was weird but i thought it was cool it was a cool uh serendipitous way of encouragement for them when they were thrifting yeah yeah i got i mean i have like a lot of rap merch kind of i'm just like wearing like a little zan hoodie but i have like some juice world stuff and i have like a x shirt i just i like to buy the rap merchandise because like i skate and stuff but it's like I, I just think it's cool like wearing the artists you like because then people are like oh who's that and they can check out the artists like from like you wearing their merch yeah it's a way to yeah. support them right it's a way to yeah. spread the love and and, <clears throat> and share that which is super cool so um, there there's a um you guys are going to be making a documentary for him is that what i think i heard that around here yep yeah there's yeah. a documentary in the works um that's under production so it's being uh so the production will be happening throughout the year and it's and it's just making sure scheduling with all the different artists that we're interviewing and um that it's going to be a part of that process uh and then it'll take probably three, four months for the editing and post-production. And then once that's done, um, so it'll probably be sometime in 2023. Um, and we'll, we'll hopefully it'll, we'll release it on net, Netflix or Amazon. That'll, or, that'll or, be rad. I saw the, um, the little peep one was on Netflix, I think, that they released. Yeah. It was, it was cool, though, because his mom was going live and then I was like, Cause I, I had been following you cause I was just like, Oh, like, well that's his dad. Like, and then that's his like mom. And I was like, I might as well follow him. Like I'm already following Sosi. I was like, follow them. Cause check them out. They're cool. But then it was funny when Charlie joined. Cause I was like, I literally watched the live of Lisa going live. Like when she released like some, a little peeps music or something and Charlie joined and they were talking. So I just joined that and I enjoyed it. Cause like Charlie was talking to you and I was like, that's cool. Cause like Charlie knows you and Lisa. And like, it's just it, like, I like how the music industry works. So people are always like, oh it's so toxic and fake like yeah with an artist it may be hard but it's always cool because you gain friendships out of that and just you meet new people like it's just cool i think yeah yeah, yeah and they, they i mean you you can tell there's i mean there there's some people that that are are toxic and that are in it for themselves and then yeah. there's others that that are there to support other people yeah um that are there you know to to give and to serve and um you know, to, to, to share and those types of things. And, um, and it's pretty easy to tell. And, um, yeah, I mean, we, we're, we're all in this thing together. I mean, yeah. Might as well, might as well make it an enjoyable experience. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I just, I think it's so cool. Cause it's just like, like I said, like a lot of artists, I know that, um, that he did like the songs for like cold heart and stuff. It's cool. But then it's just like, it's cool because, when you listen to underground artists, especially just any rapper, it's like, okay, like they do a song with another rapper and it's like, you check them out and it's like, okay, that's cool. Cause I had already been like listening to Trippy Red for a while. And then I noticed like Juice World was doing stuff with him. And it's just like, it's cool to see like how artists expand with other artists and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. for sure. But Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's cool. I'm happy that you guys are happy with the music and everything's going good. And, you know, just rest in peace, sketchy, man. It's, it's sad, but you know, I'm happy that, we're putting it in a positive way. We're not, we're not making it in any negative way or anything at all. That's yeah. That's what we're yeah. trying to do. And I yeah. appreciate, appreciate you and, and what you're doing too, because that matters. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for letting me hop on the live and uh, I'll continue to like all your posts and keep following you, man. Cause you rock. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much, Eric. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Take it easy. All right. Peace. All right. Peace. Uh, all right, so we're going to jump on and we're going to do the giveaway.